What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Google Ads WooCommerce conversion tracking. So if you're running a WooCommerce website and you're selling products through your WooCommerce website and you start running Google Ads campaigns, you want to make sure that you're actually tracking conversions. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step guide for how to track purchase conversions and bring in value using a very simple WordPress plugin. So you're going to need a Google Ads account to get started. We have our Google Ads account here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come back over to our WordPress website and you're going to go into the back end of your WordPress website. So you're going to go to your WordPress dashboard and come down here to plugins. And what you want to do is click on add new plugin. Now, once you get to the screen here, what you want to do over here is search plugins and search WooCommerce conversion tracking. So if we enter WooCommerce conversion tracking in our search bar, you're going to see a few different plugins come up and now you can use the WooCommerce conversion tracking plugin, but I actually prefer to use the pixel manager for WooCommerce. I think it's much easier to use. It's more updated. The reviews are better. So what we're going to do is use the pixel manager for WooCommerce and we are going to install this now and we're going to activate it. Now let's click on activate. Now it may ask you whether you want to opt in to get email notifications for security and feature updates, but for right now, we're just going to skip this. You can choose to allow and continue, but I'm going to skip it for right now. And then it should come up to a page that looks just like this. If you're not seeing this page, then what you want to do is in the back end of your WordPress website, go over to WooCommerce and at the very bottom, you're going to see pixel manager. So when you click on WooCommerce, click on pixel manager, and it should bring you right to this page. You'll see we are in the main tab for Google. So the main two things we need here are the Google ads conversion ID and our Google ads purchase conversion label. So those are the two things that we want to put here. You could also enter your Google Analytics for measurement ID. For this specific website, I'm using Google Tag Manager. I have Google Tag Manager installed on this website and I have Google Analytics for installed through my Google Tag Manager account. So now what we want to do is we want to come back over to our Google Ads account. And if you're not in the conversion screen yet, go to Tools and Settings and under Measurement, you're going to see Conversions and that will open up a page that looks something like this. You will have the option if you don't have any conversions yet to create a new conversion action. So that's what we're gonna do now is click on the new conversion action button. The type of conversion that you wanna track here is website. And then you wanna enter your website domain here and click on scan. So I'm gonna enter mine now and we'll click on scan. Now it may take a minute to actually scan your website domain, but what we're gonna be doing is scrolling down here and you're gonna see create conversion actions manually using code. So we're going to click to add a conversion action manually. And what we're gonna do is our goal and action optimization the category here is going to be purchase. So the very first option at the top is purchase. The conversion name will also be purchase. We're going to scroll down for value. We're going to be using a different value for each conversion and our default value is zero. So you want to do different values for each conversion, default value, zero conversion name, purchase, keep scrolling down. You want to count every single conversion because you want to count every purchase as a conversion on your website. You can change your click through conversion window to increase or decrease the time. You can change your engage view conversion window and your view through conversion window if you want. A lot of times I'll increase this just to see the overall path that people are taking when they actually end up converting on my website. For right now, I'm just going to leave it as is and just leave these as 33 and one, but you can always change this. And then for your attribution model, it should automatically choose data driven, but if not, make sure you're choosing data driven because what it does is it actually calculates the actual contribution of each ad interaction across the conversion path. So if somebody clicks on multiple ads, maybe watches a YouTube video, if they're visiting your website multiple times and using Google ads in the process, then Google ads will actually know which clicks are the most valuable to lead to conversions on your website. So now what we're going to do is click on done. You can set up enhanced conversions. I'm not going to be doing that in this video. I want to keep this pretty simple to set up your conversion tracking. You can always improve your conversion tracking, but let's just make sure we're tracking our purchases and the value from those purchases. So what we're going to do next is click on done. And then when we scroll down here, we're going to click on save and continue. Now there's a few different options here that we have. You can set it up with a Google tag. You can email the instructions to your webmaster, or you can choose to use Google tag manager. Now I have Google Tag Manager installed on my website and I also have the conversion linker tag installed on my website and I have these installed on any WooCommerce website I've ever worked with. So I'm not positive if this will work if you're not actually using Google Tag Manager. So I would highly recommend using Google Tag Manager. Very simple process to install Google Tag Manager on your website. I have videos on my channel for it and I will show you exactly 
how to do it by linking to that video in this video description. So what you're gonna do is click on use Google Tag Manager and first we're going to copy this conversion ID, come back over to our website, the same page that we were on before from the Pixel Manager plugin page. For our Google Ads conversion ID, we are going to paste the same thing that we just copied right here underneath conversion ID. So let's paste that here. And now you'll see we have our conversion ID here. And the next thing is going to be our Google Ads purchase conversion label. So when you come back over to your Google Ads account, you're going to see purchase right here. We're going to copy this and we are going to paste that right here for our Google Ads purchase conversion label. Okay, so now what we can do is scroll down and click on save changes. And that's all you have to do to actually set this up as a conversion. So when you come back over here, you're seeing use Google Tag Manager, we can click on done. Okay, when we come back over here to our Google Ads conversions page, you will see the purchase conversion that we just set up. Now, one thing I wanna show you is if we click on the purchase conversion, we come down here to tag setup and you click use Google Tag Manager, it will show you the conversion ID here and the conversion label. And it's also going to tell you to make sure you add that conversion linker tag to your Google Tag Manager account. So let me show you how to do that really quickly if you haven't already. So if you open up your Google Tag Manager account, just go to tagmanager.google.com and create an account for your website. Now, if you haven't installed Google Tag Manager already, if you come over to the admin tab right here and you click on install Google Tag Manager, you need to paste this code as high as possible underneath your opening head tag and paste this code immediately after your opening body tag. Go back to your workspace, submit your workspace, and it's that simple to install Google Tag Manager on your website. Now what we wanna do is we wanna click on add a new tag and we're gonna do conversion linker Google ads and under tag configuration, what you're gonna be looking for is the Google ads conversion linker, just Google conversion linker here. You can also just search conversion linker. So when we click on conversion linker, what you wanna do is enable linking on all page URLs if you have multiple donate domains, you can actually enable linking across domains. I don't have multiple domains, so I just need to enable it on all page URLs. And then what we need to do is trigger this on all pages. So basically all it's doing is it's allowing Google ads to track every time a conversion happens and tie it back to your Google ads account. So this is all we need to do here. We need to click on save. And then all you need to do is submit your workspace. So we'll submit this. You can add a descriptive name, description. So we'll just write conversion linker added and we will click on publish. So once we do that, now we will have this tracking on our website. So that's another way that you can do this, making sure you have that conversion linker tag so that it's tracking this purchase conversion every time someone is actually purchasing from your website after they click on one of your Google ads or if they click on one of your Google ads in the process, it will actually give credit back to your Google ads campaign for that purchase on your WooCommerce website. So hopefully this has all been helpful. If we come back over here, you'll see we have our conversion ID, our purchase label, you click on save changes, and it's really that simple. Now there's a few more things that you can do here to improve your overall tracking. You can set up conversion adjustments. If you go to sweetcode.com, I will put this link in the video description. They have a step-by-step -step process here for setting up your Google ads conversion tracking, enhanced conversions, and you can set up conversion adjustments as well in case people either return products or purchase more from you that Google ads isn't able to track. So there's more that you can do to actually improve your conversion tracking, but ultimately getting started by making sure that we are tracking purchases on our website is the main goal here. So if you have any questions about tracking WooCommerce conversions, back to your Google ads campaigns, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.